Vincent. इसको ऊपर रख के आ Thank you so much for supporting our animation work. The Glassworker Prelude is exactly what the title suggests, an introduction to something much bigger. The rest of the film picks up in the glass shop after the Great War has ended. The story is told from the perspective of an adult Vincent who receives a letter from his childhood friend Elise, whom he has not heard from for many years. The letter gives a glimpse into Vincent and Elise's relationship through their childhood years and how they inspired one another. Vincent with his glass blowing and Elise with her music. In the letter, Elise reminisces the days of their youth, reawakening many memories they shared with one another, including Elise's visits to the glass shop, careless adventures during the height of war, loss and how to cope with it. The glass shop itself serves as a metaphor for life. Life is beautiful but fragile, like glass. The entire film will take a few years to complete, but I'm fully prepared to do whatever it takes to make our dream of making hand-drawn animation a reality in Pakistan.
So this idea came from the fact that I had never really seen glass blowing in animated form. And that's when the idea started coming around that maybe we can have a story based around this. So the story revolves around two children who, whose main experiences interacting with each other are based in this glass shop and all the memories and the, the, the friendship that develops happens there. So it initially started off as a short film. And then gradually, like, he just kept adding on things and drawing more storyboards. He said, no, I think it needs to be 60 minutes. Okay, no, I think it needs to be, like, a proper full-length 80-minute yeah. film. Like, it just started becoming bigger and bigger. You know, people take that for granted. Like, every second of this film has so much thought and, and effort and time put into it simply because we had nothing before this. What you see right now is, is something that's come about after like a year and a half of planning. But before, just like one room with four people. We raised $116,000 on Kickstarter in uh, mid-2016. And everything we've been able to do so far has been because of that. That's why we keep saying that we're super grateful for everyone who backed us because without them, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Definitely, they believed in us before anybody believed in us. Mano Animation Studios gives people like me the opportunity to pursue their dream of being a hand-drawn animator, which is something that was never provided here. My qualification is that of a doctor. I was actually a fashion student and I dropped out. I um, got my bachelor's degree in computer science. Technically, I'm a dentist. I've always been a traditional artist and I've painted traditionally. I came in here as just an illustrator, somebody who just knew how to draw. Everything about animation that I know, Manos taught me. I was here before it was even Manu. To see it have grown, to see it have so many animators, it means a lot to me. I think the beauty of what we do is it's collaborative. Even when we're reviewing the animation, there are at least, what, six people sitting there. To me, I've never worked with anyone like him. It is amazing because I just love how he involves everyone in the creative process. And he, he encourages people to give their input and he really takes it to heart. There's a saying that I really like, which is you, you blossom or bloom where you're planted. It's our responsibility to make the industry here and to make it better. This is monumental, right? Nobody, I mean, I never thought this would happen in Pakistan. To believe that something this amazing is coming out of Pakistan is just an absolute privilege. It's been an honor, really. This is amazing, like, you used to look up to something as a kid and now you're working on it, that is surreal. I want to hopefully inspire artists to be part of something and, and be part of a community of people who love hand-drawn animation. I think the time, effort and real like love that everybody's putting into this project um, should hopefully result in something that we're all really proud of. Because we are the first ones to do hand-drawn animation here in Pakistan professionally on such a big level, no one has ever done this. 
So I'm pretty sure this will be a very big turning point for the animation industry. We hope to make beautiful hand-drawn animation and show the world that we can contribute to this field too. And our animation can hopefully be up there with the greats one day, inshallah.